Whether you are a data analyst, a business professional, or just stepping into data science, this session will take you from being a data wrangler to a data storyteller using one of the most powerful visualization tools in the industry. Hi everyone, and welcome to the masterclass on Tableau. I am Nikita Tandil. I am a certified trainer for data science and analytics with over eight years of experience, and I'll be your guide as we explore how to unlock the full potential of your data using Tableau. Research shows that data scientists spend 70 to 80 percent of their time exploring, cleaning, and visualizing data. This is where Tableau comes in. Tableau helps you bridge the gap between complex data and actionable insights. Think of it this way. Predictive models and algorithms might sound impressive, but if you can't present those results clearly to the decision makers, their impact will be lost. Companies that use Tableau are five to six times more profitable than those that don't. Why? Because data drives smarter and faster decisions when visualized effectively. Say goodbye to spreadsheets filled with numbers that require interpretation. With interactive dashboards, real-time filters, and drill-down capabilities, you can effortlessly explore your data and uncover trends or outliers in just minutes. Whether you are tracking the performance of machine learning models, creative predictive analytics dashboards, or crafting compelling data-driven narratives, Tableau empowers you to transform insights into impactful results. You don't need deep technical skills to make a big impact. Your visuals will do the heavy lifting. Throughout this masterclass, we will dive deep into how you can use Tableau to unlock the hidden potential in your data. Whether you are a complete beginner or someone looking to sharpen your skills, this is your chance to master Tableau and drive real business outcomes. Let's get started. So in today's session, we learn about the tool Tableau Desktop and we'll also try to understand how we connect to various data sources, fetch the data into the Tableau environment, and work upon building some very effective visualizations. We then proceed towards combining those visualizations into a beautiful dashboard and then finally narrate it as a story. So let's get started. But even before we move on towards the Tableau desktop, why not talk about data visualization first? It is very essential to understand what is data visualization and why it is needed. Data visualization allows us to get some visual access to huge amounts of data in an easily understandable visual manner. And that is the reason why tools like Tableau, Power BI, and many others have got popular in the recent years. Well-designed data graphics are usually the simplest and at the same time, the most powerful. When it comes to interpreting the data, rather than having a look at a tabular report, I'm sure you would like to look at a graph which reflects that data and helps you interpret it more easily, right? So that's where these tools come into the picture. What is data visualization? It is representation of data in a pictorial or graphical format. And that definitely helps the decision makers to observe the analytics which are presented visually in order to identify and understand the trends and the patterns in the data. So data visualization narrates a complete story that is easier to comprehend. And yes, we know the fact that visuals are a better representation of the data rather than the tabular reports. To achieve with data visualization, there are multiple steps that come into the picture. We need to first integrate the data from various different sources. Then what we need to do is analyze the data in order to derive the meaningful insights out of it. And how do we analyze it? So with the help of visualizations, we can build various types of graphs and charts and analyze the data. Now, there are various business intelligence tools that exist and are very prominently used in the market. Let's have a look at some of them. So Tableau and Power BI are like the two rivals in the data visualization industry. These are the business intelligence tools that most of the mid-sized and the multinational companies make use of. But having said that, 
there are other various visualization tools also that are effectively used in the industry. We have ClickWave, we have ClickSense, which is also part of that. We have Domo, we have Spotfire, we have Oracle, we have SaaS data visualization, we have Google Studio, not to forget. So there are various other competitive players in the market that offer you tools related to business intelligence. It is a personal and a company's choice to decide what tool to work upon. Now let's discuss something about Tableau. Tableau is a very powerful and fastest growing data visualization tool that is used in the business intelligence industry. And to talk about a little bit of history of Tableau, it was founded in Mountain View, California in January 2003 by Chris Stolt, Christian Chabot and Pat Hanrahan. Now just to tell you, Tableau was originally named as Tableau. It was owned by a company called Tableau. But back in 2018, Salesforce acquired Tableau for about $15 billion. And from then onwards, Salesforce is the company that takes care of all the Tableau products. Of course, they have sticked to the same name yet, but all the products are now managed by Salesforce. And they not only offer a data visualization tool, but there is a wide range of products that Salesforce offers you. It helps in simplifying the raw data into easy and understandable visuals. Rendering data accurately with appropriate visual analytics reduces the time that is required to achieve the understanding about the data. And that's the reason why Tableau got so popular. Tableau provides you a very user-friendly interface where it allows you to convert the complex data visualizations in an intuitive and drag and drop manner. This makes it easy for any non-technical person also to make use of Tableau. It also allows you to connect to various data sources. You name a data source and you'll find it on Tableau. It allows you to connect to 50 plus data sources right from the data sets, spreadsheets, cloud related data or even big data. It also allows you to perform live analysis. And when I say that, what I mean is you can connect to the live database servers from where you can continuously fetch the data updates and provide it in Tableau where all your reports will get updated as in how the data at the back end gets updated. Talking about the Tableau product suite, there are multiple tools that Tableau offers with respect to visualization. We have the Tableau desktop, which is like the most important tool there that allows you to build the visualizations. Desktop is the design tool for creating visual analytics and dashboard. There are two editions, personal and the professional one. The personal one is for an individual use, whereas the professional edition is for an organizational use. Professional edition is more popular because it connects to a wider variety of data sources than the personal edition. But not just that, it also offers you a lot more functionalities than what the personal edition offers. Less common data sources can be accessed via the open database connectivity standard. So if you are aware of the ODBC connectivity, that is integrated in Tableau as well. You can easily connect to any given data source with the help of ODBC and you can fetch that data into the Tableau environment to work upon it. Moving on to the next tool, which is the Tableau Reader. This tool allows you to share the content that you have created in Tableau desktop with anybody else. This tool is a free version that allows users to consume Tableau desktop reports without the need for a paid license. So imagine a situation where you have built a Tableau dashboard and you want to share it with a third person who does not have Tableau. Of course, he wouldn't have a paid license because he does not work upon Tableau. So you can share the Tableau file with him and all he needs is the access to Tableau Reader. And as I said, it's a free version, so he can easily download it and view the Tableau report that you have shared with him. Tableau report must be saved as a packaged workbook though because in order to view it in a Tableau reader, the reader or the user will require access to the data. We will talk about packaged workbooks more at a later stage. The next tool is Tableau server. Tableau server allows people to view and interact with your work via a web browser. It will automatically help you refresh the data extracts that have been published to Tableau server. Server is licensed in two ways. 
by named user or by co-licensing. Tableau Server provides enhanced security and permits users to customize their access to reports within boundaries defined by the server administrator. So imagine an organization that works on to multiple projects related to Tableau. This is where they would need a Tableau server because having so many files being stored together is very, very important because that helps you decide who should be the people who have access to different files, how they collaborate with each other and how the data privacy is maintained. Tableau server interface provides users with tools for finding, organizing and commenting on the Tableau reports. Server enables users to create subscriptions also that provide email notifications when the updated reports are published on the server. So all in all, Tableau Server is a tool that is ideally meant for organizations which use the professional version of Tableau Desktop, not the personal version. Because that's where multiple people work on Tableau and need to collaborate their work. Moving on towards the next tool, which is Tableau Public. Tableau Public is a free hosted web service that can be used to publish Tableau reports on the web. Now this is something that is again free of cost. So any user can download Tableau Public and they can work upon it. However, given that it is free to use, it comes with a limited functionality. Let's talk more upon that. Tableau offers a free public desktop edition that helps us creating and publishing reports. But as I said, it has certain limitations. Tableau Desktop can connect, Tableau Public can connect only to Microsoft Access, Excel or text files. You can't use it to connect to the rest of the various data sources. Your work can only be saved to Tableau Public Server and not onto Tableau Server. Now when you save it to Tableau Public Server, all your files are freely available for anyone on the internet. Storage space on Tableau Public is very limited, up to 50 megabytes per named user. That's very less space, right? Data source size is also limited to just about 1 lakh records. So you can't work on big data using Tableau Public. Workbooks saved on, workbooks saved on Tableau Public can be viewed and downloaded by anyone. So as I said, they are freely available on the internet. So you can't use your private data and publish it onto Tableau Public. That's risky. For this reasons, Tableau Public is an ideal way only for the hobbyists and bloggers to create and share their interactive visualizations on the web. But you can't use it in an organizational setup. Now, having talked about all the various important tools that are offered as part of the Pro Tableau product suite. Now, having talked about all the various important tools that are offered as part of the Tableau product suite, let's move on towards how to install Tableau. And this is the official website of Tableau from where you can download the Tableau desktop for a free trial of 14 days. So yes, given that it is a paid tool, it comes with a 14 days of trial period. But yes, you can also get one year Tableau desktop license on the basis of a valid student identity card. Tableau does offer a lot of various other services that allows teachers also to get a one year student license. So if you are a student or a teacher, you can definitely download Tableau and work upon the student license or the instructor license for a continuous time period of one year. Let's have a look at this website from where we need to install Tableau. So this is how the official website of Tableau.com looks like. This is the place from where you can download Tableau desktop. However, even before I show you how to install Tableau, let me tell you that Tableau, as I said, is now owned by Salesforce. And they do not offer just the data visualization related tool, but various other sectors in which they are into. So they have their tools related to artificial intelligence. They have something related to CRM analytics. This is the Tableau public, which I spoke about some time back, which is like the free resource available. And there are various other options also that can be used in order to manage your business. Now, if I go to this Tableau, you see this particular page where you can get this Tableau desktop for free. 
all you need to do is you need to fill in your details related to your name, your business email, organization and your phone number and submit this form. After which you get an email from Tableau that provides you a link to download Tableau. If you scroll down, you see that there are some trial versions available. Tableau desktop is the tool that we will need. All you need to do is click on this and you will be able to download the setup file which will enable you to install Tableau. It's a very simple installation process. This is the Tableau server which you can see is something that is not going to be freely downloadable. This is where you need to connect with their sales team in order to collaborate with them. Similarly, there is also a Tableau prep builder which I would definitely like to highlight given that this is a tool which helps us perform ETL kind of tasks. ETL stands for extraction, transformation and loading. This is where you can combine, shape and clean your data in order to help you pre-process the data before you load it into Tableau desktop and build visualizations onto it. For now, Tableau desktop is the tool that we need. Moving on to the Tableau architecture. This is how the Tableau architecture looks like, where there are various data sources that we can connect to. And based on this, we can also interact with the Tableau server. This is where we can extract the data from various data sources. We can also write queries in order to fetch the required data. The results will not only be stored into the server, but can also be used in Tableau desktop or in Tableau prep, which will enable you to work on that data. So Tableau prep is usually the first step where we clean the data. This clean data is then loaded into the Tableau desktop environment where we work upon building the various dashboards and effective stories that can actually be narrated to the stakeholders. This data visualizations can then be published to various users with the help of Tableau Reader or maybe in the form of a PDF or an Excel sheet or even a PowerPoint presentation. So good part is that Tableau does not restrict you to view the Tableau information only in Tableau. You can use it in any other Microsoft product as well. Similarly, there are certain versions of Tableau dashboards that can be visualized onto mobile as well as on web service platforms. So all in all, the Tableau architecture shows you that there are various tools that you can connect to in order to fetch the data, store it and manage it into the Tableau server clean it into the Tableau prep, visualize the data and derive insights using the Tableau desktop and finally share the reports with the end users. So this is what is Tableau all about. Of course, there are various other functionalities that Tableau provides, which we will be exploring once we start looking at how Tableau can actually be used in a real time environment. So without wasting much time, Let's move on towards the practical implementation of how to use Tableau. I will firstly try to guide you in terms of how the user interface looks like so that you understand bits and pieces of Tableau. And then we will move on towards creating some effective visualizations so that they can be combined later on into a good dashboard. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment on the concept you want to learn next.